How can you get everything that you've prayed for in life? It's simple. It's actually simple. This is why Jesus calls it the good news, because it's simple. It's just a nice little cheeky exchange with you and Jesus Christ himself, or whoever you believe in, but for me, it's Jesus Christ, right? I'm gonna start off by saying this. You get exactly what it is you're looking for in life. The only catch is, you have to go and look for it. Seek and ye shall find it. Look at this. <laughs> this one. Another one here, look. Hello. <laughs> Look at this one. He's coming to join the party, mate. But anyway, back to it. In life, you get exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for trouble, you'll find trouble. If you're looking for success, you'll find success. If you're looking for love, for peace, that's exactly what you find. But the only trick is, and it's so simple, is that you have to go and look for it. There's no point asking, praying, all of this, if you're just gonna still sit there and do absolutely nothing about it. In the same way, faith, if not accompanied by action, is dead. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock on the door and it will be opened. The only way that door is going to open is if you knock. You have to put in the action. You have to put in the work. You have to go and look for what it is you want. You have to go and look for what it is you're looking for. No one is going to come and save you. No one is going to come and help you. You have to do it yourself. You have to put yourself out there. Three weeks ago, I was working a full-time job in the UK. I'm now here in Thailand, you know, getting closer and closer to God, to Jesus every single day. I'm finding myself, I'm finding my vision because I went out here and I went to look for it. Jesus said, go and spread the good news, go and spread the good news. But what is the good news? The good news is the fact that you get exactly what you pray for in life. You get exactly what you want in life. The only catch is you have to go and walk towards it. Step number one, you have to pray or ask or manifest or whatever it is. Step number two, you have to see it. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it. You have to see it, right? You have to see exactly what it is you're looking for already. And step number three, the most important step, which is what most people don't do, is you've got to go and walk towards exactly what it is you're looking for, exactly what it is you've prayed for, exactly what it is you've manifested. Isn't that right, buddy? <laughs> it's that simple. God is very fair. All he wants you to do is prove to him that you're willing to go and look for what it is you're looking for. I watched something really amazing the other day and it really opened my eyes and changed my perspective and I'm gonna share it with you guys to conclude this video. Some of you may or may not have already heard this. But imagine you're looking for, I don't know, uh, the, a partner. Imagine you're looking for a relationship. Write down on a piece of paper at the top, my dream woman, my dream man, my dream partner, whatever it is, right? And then underneath, go into detail about all of the attributes you want this person to have. And really go into detail. Caring, patient, trustworthy, fit and healthy, whatever it may be, right? But really go into detail. Try and list down as many things as possible. Really go into it. And then change the title from my dream partner to your name. In my case, Zach and go down that list and see how many of those things you can honestly tick off about yourself. Why is God going to give you someone or something? Why is God going to give you all of these amazing factors in a person if you don't already have those factors, if you haven't already proved to him that you are that kind of person? He's a very fair dude, one of the fairest dudes, and he's a delivery man, bro. He will deliver on his promise if you show him and prove to him that you are worthy for what it is you're seeking for. You have to work on yourself. You have to work on your mindset. You have to guard your heart. You have to work on not allowing temptation into your life. You have to work on these things and prove to him that you are worthy for what it is you're asking for, bro. That's simple. That's why it's called the good news. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you're interested in more videos like this, then subscribe and hit on that buzz and drop a comment down below if you want me to talk about anything else. And if you're interested in behind the scenes or other videos like this, I send loads of voice notes talking about this kind of stuff, then I'm gonna leave a link down below to my free Telegram. Feel free to join. If you don't like what's in there, you can always leave. But nevertheless, God bless you all, and I will see you in the next video. Bow.